Hello everyone, my name is Vivian Suzano Medeiros and I'm an assistant professor at the Pontificia Universidade Católica of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. I'm here to present the paper following up on the examination of access to educational resources in a blended learning flipped classroom controls course by Professor Ana Pavani and myself. This work addresses specifically how is the students access to the courseware of the controls and server mechanisms course at PUC-Rio during three semesters, the first semester of 2021, the second semester of 2021, and the first semester of 2022. This course is mandatory for students of electrical engineering and control and automation engineering. The course is taught in blended learning with flipped classroom, which means that the course combines online and face-to-face -face delivery of content, and the students are required to study the theory before class, and the face-to-face -face meetings with the professor are for discussions, questions, and solving exercises. The division is three hours a week for face-to-face -face Zoom sessions due to the COVID pandemic, and three hours for solving assignments individually or in group. All the courseware is available through an online platform called Maxwell, which is not only a learning management system, but also an institutional repository that holds all the academic production of the university. Using Maxwell, the professor can easily get statistically on the student's access to all available resources. For each semester, a wide selection of courseware was made available to the students, including online exercises, interactive simulators, class annotations, the recording of the Zoom sessions, and pieces of software code for MATLAB. One of these resources is particularly important, which is the course guide. It outlines all the topics that will be addressed during the school term. Since the students are required to study the material before the classes, they are assigned each week a topic from the course guide to study. As you can see, there are some differences in the courseware available during these three semesters. In the first semester, the course was taught by an instructor. The second semester was taught by a different instructor. And in 2022, the course was taught jointly by both instructors. The first instructor relied solely on the online simulators available on the platform rather than using MATLAB for simulation, so there is no MATLAB code available for the students. On the other hand, the second instructor used MATLAB to code the simulations and made the code available for the students to perform further tests. Another difference is in the class annotations. The instructor for the second semester made use of a drawing table to solve exercises in classes along with the students, and a PDF of the class annotations was made available to the students in the courseware. The first instructor, on the other hand, did not make available the exercises solutions during the class and focused more on discussing the students' questions and the activities on the course guide. These differences were reflected in the number of access in courseware by the students. In all semesters, the average number of access to all courseware was higher for the students with higher grades, showing the importance of the available materials for the learning process. In the first semester, the students referred mostly to the course guides and the handouts as source of material for studying while in the second semester, they referred mostly to the videos of the Zoom sessions and the class annotations. This means that if the solutions of the exercises are made available, the students prefer to study by them than the handouts and the course guide alone. The number of access to software also showed a positive result. They indicated that the students use the MATLAB code for testings if available. It is also interesting to see that in the semester taught jointly by both professors, the students access the course guide as well as the class annotations and the software material, combining all the resources available. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us in these email addresses.